fellas, it's your boy Johnny and today let's talk about shirts. Specifically what shirts are best for composing those street outfits. That's all I wrote. Uh, okay, let's transition this before this gets really awkward. So first off, we're gonna knock the first two shirts out. That is an oversized shirt and a fitted shirt. See, the best part about oversized shirts is that they're really comfortable. You don't even have to think about how it fits on your body. And you can also contrast the sizing of your shirt with a pair of skinny jeans. This gives you a totally different look versus your fitted shirt, fitted pants. Now, all you gotta do to find this type of shirt is you gotta go to the store, Find your shirt and add two sizes to it. Trust me, every time I've tried it, it's worked. And then fitted shirts are also a staple because they're not as casual. So you can even wear these out on dates and you can also show off all the, ah! the hard work you've been putting in, man, at the gym. I mean, unless if you're one of those guys that rest two hours between each set, Y'all the worst. Otherwise, man, just don't be that type of guy. Yeah, I'm out of shape. Fuck fitted shirts. I hate fitted shirts. First off, it doesn't hurt to go exercise, bro. And second, why not rock both? There's seven days in the week to decide what to wear. You don't wear the same shit all the time? So, fellas, one and two are the Ultra Thins and the Magnum shirts. I mean, the fitted and the oversized shirts. So the third shirt every one of you fellas needs is a plain white, black, or gray t-shirt. These shirts are essential for any outfit. And I like to rock these with simple fits. Usually with the summertime, it'll be with a pair of track shorts or distressed denim and a pair of Vans because those pieces have a little bit more details instead of being a plain piece, which makes the entire fit very bland. And with the colder months, I let the layering do the talking with the base of my outfit is a plain white, black, or gray t-shirt. Wearing a plain loud shirt with a loud jacket or flannel is not a good look, man. So yeah guys, third shirt is a plain white, black, or gray t-shirt. You can get these from anywhere. The fourth shirt you guys need is half a shirt. You know, tank tops. Now, most dudes out there are like that crybaby from earlier and completely disregard tank tops as a whole for their outfits. <sighs> Come on, man. See, I like to think the tank top is the Android of shirts. Most people wear oversized shirts and all that, just like most people have iPhones, including me. But most people shit on tank tops because they do she heat overcompensating. When really, you're just trying to hide your own insecurities. But actually, Android sucks. The reason I like tank tops is it also gives your outfit a completely different look. The wide collar, the drapiness of it, it just can't be replicated with a regular shirt. Don't sleep on tanks, bruh. The fifth shirt for them street fits is definitely a simple shirt with unique features to it. So what I mean is your crosswalk shirts, your static TV shirts, and those washed and dried 20 times on high heat shirts. So these aren't your plain neutral shirts. They have some unique designs, graphics, and or even patterns that'll give your outfit an extra fire emoji. Take a look when wearing it under a layer piece versus a simple plain neutral color. It just adds that little bit of depth to your outfit that most people skip out on. You can get these shirts from anywhere. I'm definitely gonna recommend Uniqlo for the graphic tees. My personal favorite shirt now is definitely this one that shows how much I respect women, bruh. Yeah, guys, don't limit your options to just plain shirts or go for ones with simple designs like the vintage wash tees or any of the shirts I said earlier. You can also go for ones with different panels of color. Hell, even your pocket tees are dope. Because in the summertime, it can be really hard to compose a clean fit without it being too bland, so that's why these shirts come in hand. So the next shirt y'all definitely need are the crew neck sweatshirts. They come in many shapes, thickness, and color. Definitely recommend you keep these oversized to keep you warm during the colder months. For these shirts, you definitely want to roll with a branded one or one of those sweatshirts with a unique, um, you know, kind of depressed colors. Like maybe after a girl breaks your heart, after watching Endgame, or dropping your fuzz spoon in your bowl. Yeah, translate that feeling to colors. So your mustard yellows, stone blues, and deep jades. Basically, these are the type of shirts where you drag the vibrance bar halfway. That's the color you want, man. Definitely would not recommend wearing this during the summer, but yeah, for fall and winter, they are perfect. The trees will be dying out there. It'll always be gloomy. Embrace it for the fall and winter, man. Now, last but not least is when you're really feeling like a hype beast. We all got a little bit of a hype beast in us, so I'm talking about the branded tee. See, for me, I'm not going for those loud tees. I only go for the simple logo tee. This kith one is really nice because of the color, the simple logo that's quite small but noticeable and not loud at all. This champion one is nice because of the color, and since champion isn't as huge as supreme in terms of hype, I feel the louder color is fine. What the fuck do I know, man? Just buy whatever you want, bro. Those are just my preferences. It's fashion, man. I see y'all argue about this shit all the time it's closed all right fellas hope you found this video of me talking about shirts fun follow me on instagram at fly with johnny ty help your boy get to 10k so i can actually do them swipe ups and until then stay fly and i'm out bruh peace